everything wrong with modern football. Turning up at turnstiles for a ticket. When FA Cup Day meant something. When the Dutch were good at football. Football worse today than it's ever been. Are you right there, lad? The time when pies didn't cost you an arm and a leg. You could get your beer in a proper glass. I'm on Derek Clarkson. How are you doing, Derek? Not bad, thanks. Uh, oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, whenever we're doing everything wrong with football, it's yeah. always a ramp. Yeah, there I mean. is, yeah. And uh, this, one's a, this one's a proper ramp. Thanks for bringing this uh, to my attention, Not Derek. a problem. Uh, it seems that we are, we are back to Scottish football. But it's not <laughs> Scottish <laughs> football generally, it's just two clubs in particular. This yes. time it involves St Mirren and uh, Dunfermline. Yeah. Who have both uh, gone for something slightly unique on the show, yeah. Here, Derek. <laughs> yeah. Um... Don't know quite what to make of this. Uh, both clubs are sponsored by the, the sport uh, maker Joma, um, and they've released a couple of videos. I noticed this on Twitter last night, whereby uh, they've launched the kits, new kits. Uh, nothing wrong with the kits, really, in the main, um, but they've uh, launched what's known as uh, fan badges. Fan badges. Uh, well, I was having a look at this and. Uh, uh, but it's, pretty, it's probably it's exactly the same as St. Mary's Easter done firmly. Uh, yeah. Essentially, what you do is you get these uh, these badges. Yeah. Which, uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know how you earn them. You, you, uh, I, you iron them on. Uh, that you iron them on. That they're gold in colour. It looks like uh, you want. You get one if you're a season ticket holder. If you're a supporters club member, you get one. <laughs> if you know your club's history, you oh. get one. And if you're one of those who travels when the team plays away, you get a badge with an aeroplane on it. It's an absolute disgrace. Absolute <laughs> disgrace. I mean, at the end of the day, what really annoys me about this, I mean, there's so many. I will, like, we'll take it step by step. But first yeah. off, the idea of just not being able to just go to the football and enjoy it anymore. Yeah. Apparently, you need extra badges <laughs> on your yeah, kit. Yeah. Imagine if someone turned over and went, hey, look, 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 yeah. look, look what I've got here, lads. <laughs> I know my club's history. I've got an iron-on badge. Yeah. I, I just can't imagine anyone wanting that. There's a badge there, that, and it's looked like it looks like a guy putting something in a bin. <laughs> uh, it doesn't quite come up, but I'm not too sure if that's a recycling badge. Maybe oh, there's a guy there. It's unbelievable. There's a guy with a, a, a flexing his bicep. I'm not too sure what that is. I don't know what that is either, to be honest with you. I mean, this is this is a problem with it as well, dude, because each of those badges at these the four badges that they show you there... Yeah, um, I there's wanna, more. I want to pick up. At, there's more than that as well. That's yeah. the problem. But so far, I don't know if Joma just buried this, so it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> um, but the one that annoys me the most is know the history of your club. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Did you do take a quiz? What is it? What is this? I don't know how you qualify for the badge. Yeah. I mean, I, everyone, I mean, most football fans would know the history of their club anyway. All right, yeah. not the ins and outs. Not every game that's happened since 1970. Yeah. yeah. But, I know that Bradford City won the FA Cup in 1911, and you'll know all about uh, all of Rangers' achievements yeah. and you know how many times they won the title and all the rest of it. <laughs> so, what do we get badges? <laughs> do we get badges now? And also, <laughs> another one of these badges, Derek, which is possibly one of the best ones, is the ones if you go to uh, away games. Yeah, this is one of my favourites. Uh, mm. Let's say the, the aeroplane badge. Oh. Uh, a slight issue with that. Mm. Uh, no disrespect to the likes of St Mirren and Dunfermline, but. You're not really travelling by plane uh, yeah. to go and watch them. Exactly. I was just having a look at some of their fixtures, and they're playing at East Kilbride in the yeah. Iron Brew <laughs> yeah, Cup. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. I mean, there's not. There's, I mean, there's there's a there's a private um, runway in Cumbernauld, which is a good few miles away from East Kilbride. <laughs> but if you're I mean, if you there's not really much in the way of airspace in East no, Kilbride. I can't imagine. I mean, what are they going to do? Hand them as it was getting off of the plane? You know, it's like, oh, there you go. There's your badge. <laughs> For doing this as well. Yeah. I used another one of those just gimmicks. I imagine as that the PR people thought this is a great idea, this is this is fantastic. But it just it takes away from football. It's just another one of those where you just think, stop it. It's just enjoy yeah. the football. And there's enough sponsors and logos and tops as it is without yeah. sticking these daft wee badges on as well. Your exactly. Top. It's just uh, I couldn't believe it when I seen it last night, if I'm going to be honest. I mean, it, it tickled me. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was I April did, yeah. the 1st. It definitely feels like that. It would, I would be so happy if someone turned around and went, Joma don't actually exist. It's just been yeah. a long-running thing to build up to this This as a joke, and it's yeah. like fair play, fair play to it. <laughs> but, I mean... Oh, but I you're right. I mean, it's not the scouts, is it? I mean, exactly. where do we stop at this? I mean, there's, there's only a few places where you should get 
a, a badge on your what are on your, on your lapel or whatever. Yeah. You're looking at the boys' brigade. <laughs> you know. Yeah. You're yeah. looking at the scouts. And yeah. You're looking at TGI Fridays. Not on a football <laughs> kit. He's too far. It is too, it's far. too far. The only, the only uh, badge you should have on is uh, the, the league badges on the sleeve, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. I tell you what annoys me with that as well, though, Derry, mm. is when they try and charge you for that. Oh, come it's on. Like a, you know, because I remember uh, they try to do it with uh, uh, all the clubs do it with. It's like, oh, if you pay an extra five quid, you, know, you can have the, uh, you can have another sponsor on the side. <laughs> get out, get out of here immediately. <laughs> Not having any time for that. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's where does it end really? It's <sighs> it's, it's a nonsense, um, and I'm not too sure. I mean, I'd imagine you'd have to pay for these badges as well. Yeah. Uh, I imagine you would. I imagine but you like would. you say, if someone turns up to a game, if you're a supporter of St. and Infirmland and you've got the, sh the new shirt on and you're standing next to a guy with the same shirt mm. but he's got these gold badges of people putting litter in the bin <laughs> and an airplane on his sleeve, you're yeah. thinking, what, what, what are you doing? Exactly. I think they think that you'll go to a game there'll be a guy who's a badge and you go, oh, I need to get my yeah, badge. Yeah. <laughs> like, imagine if it were Bradford, I've got to get to Julian away because yeah. I, I need one of those badges. I need I'm one I'm missing those. the airplane badge. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it feels like they've just, they looked at the craze of sort of sticker books and thought, I tell that you what we like need, that. do it on that. I just... I, I, I just fear for the, the future uh, of this just, now. I mean, it's laughable, isn't it? If you've not oh, seen yes. it, folks, uh, Joma Sport UK mm. is a Twitter site. That's what the video's on there. Football fan badges. Um, I mean, look, look at the state of them. Look at the state of that. They don't even fit with the kits either. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cause and they've, a, made them, they've made them gold because I'm sure, is it the team that wins the World Club Championship gets a gold wee badge on? I think Real Madrid had one recently. <sighs> and was it some team from uh, Brazil had one? I'm sure Barcelona had one similar. Yeah. So they're trying to go down that route. Well, it's, like, it's, like, it's almost like when the star system came out Brazil were renowned for having stars above their yeah. badge, and then teams that won the European Cup started putting stars above their badge. Yeah, and then teams started really um, taking the Mickey a little bit <laughs> with the old star system. I mean, Kilmarnock have got a badge for well, sorry, a badge, a star for winning the league back in 1967. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I mean, for some, I can understand it. I mean, with the, with the other sport, because it was three in a row that they did. Yeah. Anything else? But even that, that, that sort of, Rangers have got five stars, and I remember being on holiday in Portugal in 2004, and there was a foreign guy there, I'm sure he was Portuguese, and he says, what is this, stars, stars above the badge? What, this is making mockery of star system. He wasn't from <laughs> Portugal, was he? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know where he's from there, Derry. He's been anywhere yeah, in Europe. Yeah, yeah, anywhere, but uh, yeah, he says, this makes mockery of star system, so I had to explain my Rangers had five stars above. It makes a mockery of this. Oh, I'll absolutely love that. As well. You can't mean that old back in 2004, can you? Well, the Rangers had just won their 50th league title, so they introduced five stars, one star each representing ten league yeah. titles. Yeah. Items, but um, yeah, he wasn't having any of it. I think there's too many, too many stars above Team Crests at the moment. <laughs> no, I think you are right there. But at least, at least we're not getting to the point of that. I mean, I'm hoping that um, Bradford or uh, Ridge Ooh. or any other club in the country are well, thinking about, you know, releasing something along those lines. Yeah, let's hope not. I mean, Bradford and uh, is, is it Avec or something like that? Yeah, Avec. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, you Good just, kits as well. Yeah, they, they look nice. Yeah, they're well the, nice. Yeah. Well nice. You just hope that uh, they don't latch on to this idea. Surely mm. they would. Surely all their sports brands would be like, oh, what, what are Joe been playing at here? Yeah, exactly. I think. What have uh, they been drinking? I think they will be deleting that tweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah let's really hope so. Would. I hope really, really <laughs> And if you're so. a Dunfermline or a St Mirren fan, then... God help you. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. If you, if you do, if you are planning on doing this, please do get in touch with us. I yes. would love to see anyone that's actually doing it their yeah. justification for it. Uh, Derek, <laughs> as always, absolute pleasure. Thank you for bringing that one to my attention. No problem. And I'm sure we'll be having some everything wrong with modern football sometime soon as well. We've got the